Yeah, very privileged to have the former Australian cricket captain here, Ricky. After that shot, a uh, little bit of a lucky bounce. <laughs> Sixth year here. Yeah. Uh, has there ever been any temptations to play in the professional section of this tournament? Well, considering I haven't made the cut in the first five years <laughs> <laughs> with the amateur side, but no, I think I'm pretty happy doing what I'm doing. I mean, we're just talking off air. You know, there's obviously a lot of pressure on these guys every week turning up to play events like this, and it's just nice to be here and, and be, be involved in it and you know, play alongside some of the best players in the world. So, um, yeah, six years, I've been lucky to come back every time, and if the invitations keep coming, I'll keep coming back, I reckon. Absolutely. There's most places to come. Uh, Look, the Pro-Am side of this tournament, it's obviously a fun event for you. Yeah. Uh, how much does that, do those natural competitive instincts from the playing days kick in, though, and wanting to kick the other boys' butts? <laughs> yeah. Well, they certainly do. We've actually got the two Kiwis behind us, actually. Um, Flem and Brendan McCullum are in the group behind us, so I keep having a glance back just to see how they're scoring, just to make sure that we're staying a step ahead of them. But, no, look, it's an interesting question about the competitive side of things, because when you, you, know, you compete as much as I did for as long as I did, you know, I was a professional cricketer from sort of the age of 15 to 38, and then there comes a day when it all stops and you've got no, other, you've got no competition left in your life. So to have something like this or a bit of coaching, you know, just trying to be a, as good a golfer as I can be, I guess, sort of brings that little bit of competitive nature back out again. Well, one thing I've always personally been a little bit intrigued by was uh, your friends that are here, your Flemings, Warns, McCullums, there's a lot of rivalry when you play. Uh, is the bond a little bit tighter now that there's a little bit less at stake? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we probably didn't give too much away of each other at all when we were playing against each other. But, you know, I've been really good friends with Flem and, and Brendan for a long time now, not just from coming here, but even when we played against each other. I think, you know, Australians and Kiwis are, are very similar people and similar sort of interests and likes and dislikes and that, I guess. And, you know, Brendan and I have got a few other things in common. We like, we like golf, we like racing and that. So it's, it's great to get a, a chance to spend a whole week with those guys over here. You got a busy couple of months ahead with the IPL and the uh, and the World Cup cricket after it. Um, what are Australia's chances? You think of uh, of defending our title from 2015? Well, they've got some work to do. Their one-day record's been pretty ordinary the last 18 months, to be honest. But a, a couple of really positive results this week. A couple of really good T20 wins over India, over in India. A really good win last night. So. Look, on paper, we'll have a really strong team, but I guess it's up to me and, and the coach, Justin Langer, to get a bit of confidence out of them, and, and they'll play well, I'm sure. Awesome, Ricky. Well, thanks for your time, and play well the rest of the way. Good to see you, mate. See ya.